So uh, I like to, I, I pulled the uh, desiccant cartridges out of the container it came in uh, from Mercedes-Benz. Um, looked at them earlier today. I kept them in a Ziploc bag. I like to weigh them uh, before I get started. Uh, so that's 214. And just write that on there, 214, 214. I like to weigh them and write down what it is. So I know what they are going in the machine. Uh, and then I can compare that to what it looks like when it comes out. And I know if it's uh, absorbed moisture or not. So let's go put it in. I'm uh, shooting this video on how to remove uh, and replace a desiccant cartridge because the ones I like online, I don't really like. They don't really tell you where it is, but if you, it's right here. So if you look here and you look at this plug right here, it is right there, you know, about two thirds of the way down the door, right there. And you reach up in here and that's where the plug is. So that's the biggest reason that I wanted to do this. Um, I've pulled the plug out and I've uh, pulled the desiccant cartridges out and I've got the new ones. And if you saw me earlier, I weighed them and wrote, wrote the weight on it. So uh, they sit on top of one another. So I'm going to slide one into the hole. It'll sit down on the bottom and I'll slide the next one in. Then we'll put the cover on. Um, it's certainly not rocket science. They just go in there and they fit just right inside there, like, you know, half inch, quarter inch into the hole. And the second one goes right on top. And you've got to wiggle it in a little bit to get it in there, but it just goes right in. Um, and then you slide this card in. Um, not really necessary, but you just slide it in there to, to make it so you can read it um, afterwards. And now you're sort of good to go. You put the, the cover back on. This is what the cover looks like. I'm gonna get it in there um, partially. There's a, there's a seal right there, so keep that in mind. And it's gonna seal in there. Uh, when, you're, when you're doing this, um, there's an inspection that's involved. And what you're really inspecting is um, that there's no damage to the battery. You know, the issues with these batteries are we don't want them to be damaged. We don't want water to be able to get into them. They are sealed. Um, and the desiccant cartridges are basically there in case there's a problem. Um, it'll absorb the moisture. Uh, generally, it uh, absorbs very little moisture during the year. Uh, and probably uh, what it absorbs is what gets in the uh, container when you uh, uh, when you open it up, you know, once you open it up, air gets in, air is moist, uh, and then it allows some moisture in, and then that gets absorbed by the desiccant cartridge. Um, so I'm gonna I got this hand tight, almost. I'm gonna get a hand tight, then I'm gonna get a wrench on it. I don't think you need to watch me put a wrench on it. Um, I prefer a 3 8 with an adapter, but my 3 8 is broken. So I'm going to have to go to the big boy, which is totally not necessary because you don't have to torque it down. You just snug it down. Okay, so I've got it tight. And what you want to do is you want to feel up in there. And the plug itself is like maybe, I mean, not even, maybe about a 64th of an inch out farther than the, the casing of the battery. And that's and that's tight. That's snug. You don't want to you want to Hercules it down. Just tighten it up. When I'm doing this, I mentioned the uh, I look at the battery. You know, this panel comes off uh, with a few screws, uh, and that's what covers it up. And if that panel is damaged, or if there's new damage on that panel, pay real close attention. If there's new damage on this panel, I'd be paying real close attention. There's no damage there, so you know nothing penetrated that. So I know the battery underneath it is good. I wanted to give you an example of what you're looking for. Um, when you come down here and you see damage like this in the battery area, this is prior to the battery battery, battery area, but this is close to it. That's what you gotta be concerned about. You wanna pay attention right behind it to make sure there's no damage there. Um, I'm familiar with this car and um, I've got pictures of it, so I know that that was there last time and there's no damage 
uh, behind it. But if you're underneath a car and you notice something for the first time, definitely look, look very closely where that is. You don't want to have damage to your battery uh, that'll cause you problems. Um, the other thing you want to do uh, is hook this up to your uh, code reader and see if there's any codes associated with it. Um, you know, you may not know what the codes are, but no codes is no codes, whether you know it or not. Uh, then let's come over here real quick. Um, there's a lot of good videos on this already. So I'm not gonna show you how to do this. I'm just tell you, well, you got it up. Um, you get the wheels all the way over to the right. And the behind the panel here, under here, like I said, there's other good videos, is the sensor that uh, senses the speed of the motor. When you pull that out and look at it, uh, you can tell if there's moisture on it. Uh, it should be dry. If there's a little bit of moisture on it, you better take it down and get the, um, the coolant delete process done. This is any uh, Model S, early Model S uh, Tesla has the exact same motor in it. And the Tesla dealers um, or the Tesla repair guys know how to do this coolant delete. And that'll solve this issue of coolant leaking into the motor. Uh, and you don't want it to go past just a tiny bit of moisture in there. Uh, if it's all gummed up, you're probably, it's probably too late. But uh, this was the first time I actually had any moisture in mine. So I'm gonna take that down and have that done. I don't have the tools to do that. But replacing a desiccant cartridge is a pretty easy job. I sort of compare it to doing, uh, you know, an air filter on an internal combustion engine.